Hello, everybody. Uh, I have been asked to uh, try to put together uh, some lessons to teach some people to trade Forex. And uh, I'm going to put a series of lessons together. My, my goal is here to, to keep them short um, so it doesn't take much time to do each lesson. You can go back and watch it over and over again and, and, and understand it uh, before you move on to the next lesson. Um, first of all, um, you know, uh, one of the questions uh, we're starting off here, as you can see, is what is Forex? Well, some of you have probably um, heard of Forex but have really no idea what it is. Others of you maybe have even traded some Forex. Um, <clears throat> Forex, to me, is just another vehicle to, to trade to make money. I'm sure all of you have probably heard of people that trade stocks, uh, have trade options, trade future contracts. I've done all of that. And um, for me, my what I have the best success with is Forex. And, uh, you know, uh, try to figure out why is that? Well, you know, during coming up during school, high school and all, you know, I played sports. Um, you know, I played some baseball, some football, uh, tried out for basketball, really didn't care for it. I wasn't that good at it. Uh, ice hockey wasn't that good at that either so you know I, I excelled at it baseball was my best so kind of take that over into the trading world well Forex has been my best so right now um, probably 98 percent of the trades I make are Forex based trades so um, so can can anybody learn to do it I believe they can but it, it takes work um, you know, you just can't come in here and say, you know, I'm going to flop down um, $300 or $1,000 and start buying and selling and, and be successful at it. Uh, you, will, you will lose in the long run. Trust me. You Just like anything else, um, you know, if, if you are going to be a car mechanic, um, you know, um, you got to learn how to fix cars. You know, somebody brings a car, you say, my car won't run, and you've, ne you've never fo fooled with a car. The chances of you fixing is not too well. But if you have put the time in to learn how to fix cars, to troubleshoot cars, to find out what's wrong with them and fix them, you can be successful being a car mechanic. The same is true in trading. You must lear learn this skill, and it takes some time. Um, I would say that you probably, before you actually put live money on it, um, you probably need to, I would say, a minimum of a month of trading a demo account. And a little word on trading a demo account. When you trade a demo account, you have to be honest with yourself. In other words, if you're going to trade the Euro US dollar and you say, well, I think right now I'm going to buy it because it's going up, and you, you put that demo order in and it goes down it goes against you and you say well you know if i'd have been in real money i wouldn't have done that no that's not being honest with yourself you need to be honest with yourself if trading that demo account if you say hey i'm gonna go buy it long and it goes down dig yourself out of the hole by by scalping and we're gonna we'll talk more about that later but you must be honest with yourself in order to be successful can't say that enough and believe me if you're not honest trading the demo account it's really going to hurt when you trade real okay so as you can see my notes here what is forex <clears throat> forex is a global financial market that allows one to trade currencies and that's what we're doing we're trading one country's currency against another if you have ever gone to a foreign country and you know canada uh me i have traveled uh, to a lot of different countries i've been in a lot of countries in asia a few of them in Europe anyway so when you go to their country you know you, you take US dollars like in Japan for example uh, the currency there's a Japanese yen well when you go into a store in Japan or a restaurant or what have you what not they don't accept American currencies so you have to have Japanese currencies so you would go to a bank or at the airport uh, some hotels will do it you you give them a dollar uh, you know usually a hundred dollars you give them a hundred dollar American dollars and they'll give you whatever the exchange rate is. They'll look and they'll say, okay, today the exchange rate is 100 to 1. We'll give you 100 Japanese yen for every dollar. Okay. This is what Forex is, is trading exchange rates. And when you trade in the Forex market, these exchange rates change by the second. 
Okay, we'll talk more about that later. Um, the foreign exchange market, which is known as Forex or FX, is the largest financial market in the world. This is just not a, a mom and pop thing. This is, this is huge because everybody all over the world does this. Businesses, uh, corporations, you know, like I'll say Apple. You know, they sell an Apple watch in, in Japan and they convert the Japanese yen back to the dollar to, for profits and so on and so forth. All big companies do this. Compared to $22.4 billion dollars a day on the New York Stock Exchange, which is the largest stock exchange in the world, the Forex trades 6.6 .6 trillion. Think about that. The Forex market's open 24 hours a day, five days a week, only closes down on the weekends. Okay, it, it's, it closes down on 5 p.m. Friday Eastern time in the United States and it starts back up, depending on daylight savings time, around five or six o'clock Sunday night. And we'll talk more about what hours to trade later. Okay, what does what do we trade in forex? <laughs> and it's it's just pretty simple, money. That's all it is. We're not buying, we're not buying a stock where we're buying a share of a corporation. We're not trading a futures contract where we're uh, seeing what the price of corn is going to be uh, thirty days from now. It's just money. Um, <clears throat> I put a list together here of the major currencies in the world, and these are the only ones I trade. And the reason why I trade these is they have a tight or small bid-ass spread. And we'll talk more about that later. Uh, the US dollar, the country's the United States, our currency is the dollar. The F Forex has a nickname for every currency. They call the dollar the buck, okay? Euro, this is the Eurozone, the European countries that all went together and created you know, one currency did away with the German mark and the Italian franc and a few others. I can't remember all of them, but they call it the fiber. Japan, Japanese yen, and it's called the yen. GP, GBP, Great Britain, the pound, Forex calls it the cable. Okay, CHF is in Switzerland. It's called the franc. People call it the Swissy. CAD, Canadian there's the dollar, they call it the loonie. Australia, they had their currency is the dollar, they call it the Aussie. And New Zealand, the New Zealand dollar, they call it the Kiwi. Now, as you notice here, we'll just we'll look at the New Zealand dollar because it's up right here. The letter NZD, when you trade on your trading platform, and we'll see that later, NZD will be up. <clears throat> All currencies are have a three-letter code to identify them. The first two identify the country, in this case NZ, New Zealand. The third one is the currency, dollar. As you can see right here, dollar. Right above here, Australia, AU, Australia, D is dollar, okay? And that's what I just explained that what I already had kind of jumped ahead of myself there. So that's really all I'm going to have for today's lesson. Uh, I'm probably going to put out two of these lessons a day, uh, as time permits. You know, um, <clears throat> so I um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you'll stick with it, and uh, we'll be successful.